Hey guys, it's Sal's Garage here, and today we're going to show you how to change your brake calipers from this to this. tools very very professional workplace so Brandon used to be a BMW technician but now he does AC work at Google so he has a really good collection of tools so we're gonna have to go one uh, one wheel at a time because it's uh, hard to get this car up on four jacks Sensor. All right, so the wheel is off and Brandon is starting with the brake sensors and the wires. So Brandon's removing the caliper and spreading the, the pads a bit so that he has some space. Two rear caliper bolts, 16 millimeters to take off the caliper. In order to remove the rotor, it's two six millimeter hex. And it looks like Brandon it got it out loose. pretty easy. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty loose, so that's good. So your, the rear ro rotors are probably rusted on. So you can either hammer it out or uh, Brandon's got a I trick. Get my magic spray. <laughs> or the magic spray, and then we'll, uh, we'll be able to do one tap. <laughs> All right, so this is what Brandon uses to uh, get that rotor off that's super rusted on. And this is Penelope over here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Ellie and yeah. Ina needs some milk. They brought some Filipino brought breakfast. <laughs> so you just spray it in the little holes right here. So what's different? What makes this different from PB Blaster? Uh, just faster. Different formula, I guess. Yeah. Cool. There you go. That was it. Yeah, that was it. Awesome. Nah, that's a lot easier than mine. <clears throat> it's that oil or that spray. Yeah. So these are the adapters for the rear calipers. And those are the rear calipers right there. And the supplied bolts. Oh, okay. These are the rear rotors. We're gonna have to make a cut on the shield here and then do some burring on the spindle itself. Uh, it does go this way, yeah. it mounts on that side. And it looks like it does line up pretty well, but the issue is the reason why they have to burr this is because it makes contact with the mounting bolt right there. Just the top portion? Yeah, from what I can see. So how did you get this uh, kit again? Is it from Alibaba or? No, this kit is from a guy on Instagram named Jeremy. Mm -hmm. uh, he lives down, down in LA and he put this kit together and ESS John uh, test fitted it before he had a bunch of these brackets made or I don't know where he got them from but uh, ESS John tested the whole kit made sure it worked before he sold it to a bunch of people me being the first batch of people the calipers are off of a Porsche Cayenne or a, I think it's like an Audi S5 he had the calipers rebuilt and he um, had the rotors custom made you know how much they cost, this kit? Yes, so this kit cost, uh, I think it was like 2700 for the full kit, front and rear. That is a really good deal, um, man. You know, half the price of an actual Brembo set. I was going to say, right they're usually about six grand or more for a big brake yeah. kit. But So for 2700 that's a really good and deal. And you get new uh, brake lines as well. Oh, they come with the stainless steel brake lines? Yes. Man, that's you can't beat that.
Go little by little. Yeah. That's uh, what it looks like so far. I mean, you can put the bracket back on, see if there's any contact. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, so we are, uh, we are draining the brake fluid by loosening up the line. It's a 13 millimeter, right? 14. 14 millimeter. Uh, just be ready to catch the fluid as it comes out. <laughs> and we did release the pressure at the master reservoir so it's not spurring everywhere. Now I'm just gonna let that catch and drain. So now Brandon is removing the top portion of the line since it comes with stainless steel braided lines. We're gonna be replacing these. That's the stock line, and then the uh, the new one is slightly longer, which is good. Hopefully it doesn't rub. Uh, yeah, I mean we can zip tie it or fasten it to something. It shouldn't be okay. All right. So this is the section here that connects to the main lines in the rear. 17 millimeter wrench to loosen it and tighten it. Like that. Uh -huh. We're almost done. Yep. <laughs> so the kit comes with four crush washers. Two of them are used for the back of the caliper where the stainless steel line connects to. There you go. That's how you connect the rear and then Brandon zip tied those the line. What did you zip tie it to? The I think that's the e-brake. Oh the e-brake line. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that shouldn't rub on anything. And then, supposedly it's normal to have a little bit of a gap there, but hopefully it'll settle once we've uh, got some fluid in the system. She fits. Oh, plenty of clearance, dude. Oh yeah. It, a I lot mean, it's of not the clearance. front, but. <laughs> Complements the wheels really well. Come on. Now you're ready to go on the track. <laughs> Yeah, three hours to do one side. Now we got three more to go. Now we're gonna do the fronts and figure out any new hurdles that we have with the front side. Okay, so we turned the wheel in a little bit so that you can see the brakes a little better. You have more access. So Brandon pried off this uh, front piece here and now he's going to be taking out the, uh, or Trying out the old caliper. That's a pretty cool trick. <laughs> While you're doing that, double check that your reservoir is not overflowing, which it isn't. We're trying to work on this annoying puddle here. So, Brandon has this little knee pad that can adjust into different positions. 18 millimeter to take out the back caliper bracket bolts. Calipers off. Now Brandon's gonna disconnect the brake line and catch the fluid that's coming out. 14 millimeter. 14 millimeter wrench. And it's on there pretty tight. And then he's gonna spin the caliper. Make sure you have something to catch the fluid with. Yeah. So we're letting the line drain into the bottle. All right, so we're removing two set screws. They're five millimeters in the front and six millimeters in the rear and Brandon is using a ball and socket. It's the only size I have. Yeah, the only size five millimeter hex he has. Just careful because those ones can strip pretty easily, I heard, and then you'll have to drill them out. So on Brandon and Mel's M3, there's supposed to be a dust shield here, but theirs is missing, so it makes it a little easier. But if there's a dust shield there, you're supposed to trim it a little bit, just like what we did with the rears. And then these are the front brake calipers, super huge. And the stainless steel lines. 
These are a bit longer. Who needs canned air? You can just hire Brandon to blow out the air in there. Yeah, everything is well packaged. Nice job for this guy. I wonder if he's a machinist or something. Since he's the one that fabricated these adapters. He's an engineer. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. On the spindle, it sticks out and it's not flush with the adapter. So this needs to be shaved down so it's flush with the adapter in order to fit the caliper. Oh, so you gotta, you have to shave down those like little knuckles basically. Huh? Yeah, you just like flatten the, them out. circular. Basically. That's a lot easier than cutting. Yeah, yeah, you can literally just shave it down, yeah. Okay. What's gonna be the thumbnail for this, Penelope? Probably. Penelope driving the yeah. car. <laughs> there the you car go. She's breaking. Yeah. So this is what Brandon cut. As you can see, he got it as flush as possible to the bracket so that it can receive the caliper without any issues. So Brandon is attaching the stainless steel brake line where it connects to the master cylinder reservoir. And He's orienting the line so that it faces the caliper. Just like that. And the red lasting over several days to weeks before the patient is on. And the last five days. Come on. So that's where the screws go into to bolt the caliper to the bracket or the adapter. Anywhere over there. Hey, Carl. Penelope, go back to bed. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Good. Two more to go. <laughs> Two more to go. I think this is the best big break kit option out there. So definitely hit up a uh, guy's name on the screen. I'll put it on the screen. I don't remember the guy's name. Jeremy. Jeremy. Germs DNA. <laughs> oh, wrong person. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we are doing the other side, rears and fronts. It's pretty risky because we're on the side of the street, but that's okay. Gotta take a little risk in life. No risk, no reward. Yep, just like that Jet Li movie. Yeah. <laughs> finished and we are bleeding the brakes now. The Brembos have two bleed ports on each caliper, front and rear, so let's bleed this air out of the system. We are using a Motive Power Bleeder and the pressure is just right above 12 psi. So we're just bleeding the last brake caliper here. A little bit of air bubbles, so 
we'll let that run for a little bit and I'm just checking the pressure here and make sure it's staying above 11 or 12 psi Riding in uh, Brandon's car, it's M3, and we're about to bed in the brakes on the freeway. But for now, the brakes feel really good, even from just a slow stop like that. Next mod for okay, the car. Okay. Or what are you gonna next do next mod, to it? <laughs> next mod is headlights. Yes. Headlights. I'm excited for that one. Yeah. Headlights. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. We're gonna be doing some upgraded Angel Eye headlights and supercharger install later down the, the line as well. They already have the supercharger. We're just waiting on the right time to do it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, everybody.